Hey guys, so you're probably wondering um, how that video was just made there. Um, I use something called Drone Camera Pro. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, there's another drone camera as well that I used to use a lot. Um, but I really, really like this one here. Um, the cool thing about this one is that when you go to the ground, it literally doesn't clip through. So that's one of the cool things I like. And then sometimes it doesn't let you clip on walls and stuff. Like, see how it kind of drags me up. That's kind of cool. I use a uh, Xbox uh, controller there and whatnot. There's a lot of cool settings and stuff. I'm just going to let it kind of like play through real quick so you guys can kind of see how it flows. Kind of it has its own altitude and everything. Um, There's a lot of different settings and everything here with it. Um, I can kind of click through some of the menus here. So you can assign your uh, controller, uh, different buttons and inputs and everything. You know, depth of field, always a good option. When you have it kind of like focusing and whatnot. Definitely does make for a wonderful shot or two. So there's definitely like a lot of potential here with this um, for like wonderful cinematic shots. Um, just overall extreme creativity in my opinion. So I'm still relatively new to using it um, because there is a record option here where you kind of like tell it where it needs to be like you even use your um, capture settings and stuff but so right here it's supposed to basically I'm supposed to be able to just toggle the recording which I probably need to look at the instructions again to see what I'm doing wrong I, mean, I was following it sometimes I make it work sometimes I don't but you're supposed to be able to just click on well you know for me I have it as num uh, pad 8 so I click it you see how it's saying auto move recording then I can just basically just do my thing here, move it around or whatever. Um, I'm hoping it does it in this video. It'd be kind of cool if it just works. You know, getting kind of like shots like this is like amazing. Kind of have it memorize exactly what's going on there. Um, and then kind of just, I guess, pause it and tell it to stop. And. In theory, this should work. It might not. I don't know. I'm still, again, new to this. So I click on the start and stop. And yeah, it's, it's, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Again, I'm still relatively new to using this. So everything I've been doing, I've literally just been having the replays go and just trying to be as smooth as possible and that is pretty tough I won't lie but since the drone doesn't clip under the ground it does make it pretty up oh. for the most part it makes it easy and sometimes you gotta just keep going back um, let's just get somewhere else in this in this replay oh here we go something entertaining so for example, you know, we, we we hop out like this, zoom in just a little bit. You're you're kind of able to get some really nice shots. Of course, you got to do some finessing and some editing and whatnot. To make things look really good. Um, again, I'm still you getting used to this. Uh, it's called Drone Camera Pro. Again, I'm still getting used to it. I'll have it in the description um, on how you can get it and whatnot. Um, if any of you figure out what I'm doing wrong for the auto move settings, uh, let me know. Um, I've tr played around with the pre-select before, and I don't know. I've, I've if I recall in the video, it's like you're messing around with just these two here, but I. 
I don't get it. I mean, I'm still loving it, still using it. Um, I got to get more smooth through my options here. Um, probably work with locking the roll. Um, Mm -hmm. But okay, I haven't made a little tutorial or instruction video or anything like this in ages of empires, no pun intended. So if you guys are looking for a cool drone that doesn't clip on the ground and if you don't mind going back and hitting record a million times, um, basically to make sure you get the right angle and stuff and just overall make it look cool. I mean, of course, we also have the, the cam tool. I have I have a lot of tools here. Uh, shout out to uh, Kumo Sabe for the amazing uh, preset cameras. I'm actually going to show that off there. I, I've used plenty of their... I'm sorry, Kuroshiba. I, I butcher people's names, but yo. So check this out. Kuroshiba has made some amazing um, camera, camera inputs. And this, this is just genius. So I don't know why it's jittery a little bit. Normally it's not jittery. It might be because I'm playing the game on 1080 versus my normal settings. Or, wait. That's why. It was messing up because I still had the drone enabled. Whoops, there we go. Now you can see what it looks like. But yeah, that's so huge shout out to uh, Kuro, Kuro Shiva for the amazing efforts there in Cam Tool 2. So that's always an option and then you you make a million transformations and good look at all this for the whole core. <laughs> Hand claps, that's, that's incredible. Um, I had to learn how to do that myself, honestly. I've tried it some, but it's so confusing. Uh, if I can figure out this drone thing, that would be essential to to me. It'd be a definite shortcut because then I can just go from um, one corner at a time, get a million angles that I want, and go from there and make some cool little cinematics for you guys. That's what I'm planning on doing is making a bunch of cinematics. But wow, my ADHD, ADHD brain has gone to several different topics. We're ending the video here. I am out. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.